Good day, everyone. My name is Tiana Anthony, and I'm a part of Group One, who presents to you Animal Behavior, Taxis versus Kinesis. Taxis is a form of movement behavior that involves movement towards or away from a stimulus. In Kinesis, an organism changes its movement in a non-directional way in response to a cue, for example, speeding up or slowing down. For this experiment, our group had to collect different types of bugs and observe their responses to different stimuli. The materials needed for this experiment are a choice chamber, stimuli, a tweezer, and gloves. The stimuli used were white sugar, vinegar, another stimuli of the member's choice, and the control was water. Here are the group's hypotheses. My name is Erna Christopher and this is my experiment on animal behavior. Today, I will be observing the milkweed bug. The milkweed bug is a medium-sized orange and black bug that resides in North America all throughout the Caribbean. They hatch, turn into nymphs, and eventually become the winged adults. Their main source of food comes from the milkweed plant. When they are young, they take the milkweed extract, which is called latex, and drink it. As they become older, they begin to eat the seeds and the stems of the plant. In this experiment, I will be observing 20 milkweed bugs as they make their way throughout my chamber. In my chamber, I include four stimuli, latex, sugary water, alcohol, and vinegar. To ensure that I get the best results, I will be conducting three trials of this experiment. I hypothesize that the milkweed bugs will be most attracted to the latex. Each trial was two to five minutes long, having observed each organism within the respective chambers. This is a numerical representation of the trials. In conclusion, animal behavior is a strange thing. Behaviors are results of responses to stimuli, external, internal, or both. This experiment clarified my understanding of animal behaviors. In the stimuli-driven experiment, there was no kinesis behavior and taxis behavior. The random movements of the milky dogs was most likely due to the new environment. When observing the taxis of the milky bug, I compared the effects of light and darkness. Immediately, I noticed that all the milkweed bugs ran to the dark side of the chamber. In regards to the mathematical portion, my hypothesis was also supported. The resultant sum of the population was 5.7. 5.7 was compared to 7.82, which was derived from a critical value chart. Since 5.7 is less than the critical value, the proposed hypothesis is accepted and the probability of the results occurring by chance is greater than 5%. When conducting this experiment, using enough insects in the chamber is most effective. It creates more diversity within the population and less random movements. A foolproof chamber would be best as well. Some bugs went in the crevice of my chamber rather than in the chambers itself, which puts off some of my numbers. Lastly, researching what kinesis and taxis behaviors are beforehand gives you a better understanding of the experiment. Thank you for watching my portion of the animal behavior experiment. Hi, my name is Brandon Williams and today we will be conducting an experiment where we are investigating taxis versus kinesis in invertebrates. And we will be doing that by using our homemade choice chamber. One of the bugs that I will be using is known as wood lice or its scientific name on this idea. They are nocturnal isopods and can be found in dark, humid places under leaves and rocks, and they mainly feed on decaying plants. The next organism I will be using is known as the black carpet beetle, or its scientific name, the Atagenus unicolor. The black carpet beetle is a general feeder, but normally it is found in fabrics in the household. 
Although I found my black carpet beetles under an outside mat. The larvae often feed on things like leather, feathers, dead insects, and dry plant material. To experiment taxes and penises in this experiment, um, I divided the church chamber into two. Half, of, half the side was dark and half the side is light. And then divided it into four, where one of the dark side is damp and the other is dry. And for the light, one is damp and the other is dry. My name is Angelina, and this is my portion of the Animal Behavior Lab. So the bug I'll be experimenting on is the red bug, also known as the ferrocoid bug, a bug that can be identified in the Caribbean Sea region. It is a plant feeding insect found in mostly subtropic and tropic areas. It has an oval shape and is brightly colored in red and black. They can be seen near the tree lines by the beach. This is my hypothesis. Since the red bug's habitat is located near seawater, then the insects will likely move toward the saltwater stimuli. The purpose of this experiment is to absorb at the behavior of an insect and design an experiment to investigate its responses to environmental variables. Taxis and kinesis behaviors will be observed. Taxis is the directive movement towards a given stimulus and kinesis is undirected or random movement. My materials include plastic organizers, napkins, spoons, spray bottles, sugar, salt, alcohol, baking soda, water, and our red bugs. Procedure. We'll first start with sectioning our organizer into three areas. Two will be for the bugs and one will be our control. We'll dilute the sugar by mixing into the water and we'll use a spoon to saturate the napkin into the mixture. We'll repeat the previous steps for the salt and baking soda mixtures. Next, we'll use a separate napkin to saturate with alcohol, and we'll place the, the napkins in opposite sections of at least two areas. We'll use a spray bottle container to transfer the bugs into the makeshift chamber, and we'll absorb the chamber between 10 minute intervals. My results are represented by a line graph that favors the sugar water stimuli, the control stimuli, as well as the baking soda stimuli for the red bugs. You can also see my before and after chamber experiment. Conclusion. The data from this experiment showed the red bugs interact on or near the sugar and the control stimuli. No interaction was absorbed in or near the salt stimuli. Red bugs move in swift motions due to their relatively light bodies. 
Isopods use their antennas to mobilize and distinguish appropriate environments. Overturning a rock will cause the isopods to become disoriented and move quickly around the area. Quick movements will continue until the isopods locate another favored area. In response to the red box, their isopod response will be classified as kinesis, since they continue to move at a fast pace around all stimuli in contact. This was my experiment. Thank you. For our conclusion, our hypotheses did not hold to be true in both experiments initially, and the results from both experiments favored kinesis behaviors. We know that taxis moves in the direction of the stimulus or away from it, and kinesis, on the other hand, moves randomly. Challenges we had in the lab were death of invertebrates, accommodating choice chamber for dark environment, and inserting the invertebrates into the choice chamber. In conclusion, the purpose of this lab was to demonstrate taxis and kinesis when observing organisms' behavior due to different stimuli.